All right, good morning, guys. Um, so for your uh, class today, uh, sorry, I couldn't be there, um, but how you're going to start off is one, when you get to the unit one study guide link here, which you should be here because you're watching this video. All right, um, you're gonna start at the bottom, okay? So this is the quizzes review. Right, which is down right here. Okay. Um, now you're going to have to start it on your own. Okay. Or I mean, you can do it in like a group of friends. If you want to compete against each other, just have one person um, put the code up and then the rest of you can join their game. And then you guys are just kind of going to compete against each other. You guys can do it for more than once if you want to, you know, it's kind of up to you on um, if you want to do it once or twice. Okay. But you're just going to come over here. Click on this drop down. Click on classic. You don't really need to log in. Okay. Um, and then you control all of your settings. Okay. Um, I mean, it's good to go if you just want to click continue. All right. If you want to shut off the memes or if you want to shut off uh, power ups, whatever. I mean, it's kind of up to you. Okay. But it should be uh, left on classic. Continue. And this is where it'll um, put up the code. Okay, but at that point, you'd have to go to joinmyquiz.com. Okay. And then put in the code. And join. So I'm in. Okay. And if it's only me, I'm doing it on my own. Click start. Okay. And then I'm going back here. And the questions will pop up here on my screen. Okay. Largest city in Africa by population, totaling over 5 million people. You're going to pick from the four and go from there. Okay. Um, there are 17 questions in total. Some of them you've seen before. Uh, others of them are going to be relatively new. This is just a way to refresh your memory on what is the test going to look like. Okay. Some of the topics we've talked about. Okay. Again, you can do it once or twice. Okay. Um, once you're finished with those quizzes questions, then you're going to go over here to Quizlet. Okay. And I just want you to spend five, uh, maybe 10 minutes if you really want to, um, on vocabulary. Since I'm not there to run the Quizlet live, okay, um, I would just say use the review games here on the left side. Okay. Um, and that'll do the same, same thing that we're looking for on live. It just may not be with teams. Okay. Um, I mean, Hey, Tuesday's the test. If you want to try the test version of it, um, I wouldn't say that's a bad idea. So um, you can do that as well. Uh, but again, just five to 10 minutes of vocabulary review uh, just to make sure we're clear on that. Um, remember, first 10 questions are vocab. It'll be two sets of matching. Uh, so make sure we're prepared for that. Okay, so once we're done with Quizlet, you can exit out of that. Okay. Then we are on to your actual unit one study guide, which needs to be completed on paper. Okay. So if you take a look at this um, to do list, we've done the quizzes, we've done your review. Now you're on to the unit one study guide. Okay. Um, remember, you have to complete this on paper. If you've lost your copy okay, or you weren't here, there are extra copies at the front of the room um, on the left side. Okay. Uh, so just go grab one. There are plenty of copies. Okay. Shouldn't be a problem there. Okay. Um, pencils are up there as well. Okay. Uh, but again, you got to complete it on paper. Okay. And I know some of you don't like that, but it's because you can't copy and paste on paper. All right. You got to physically write it down, uh, which is just going to help you on the test. Um, and prepare you better. Okay. 
So for the unit one study guide, it'll look like this on your piece of paper. The front side is required. Okay, all those terms are required to fill in. Okay, most of you are probably going to do definitions, but you don't have to do definitions. Okay, it can be um, how you remember the term. Does it connect to a different topic? Okay, um, whatever helps you. Okay, remember this. Okay, and helps you study. That's what I want you to put down because it's your own study guide. It should help you on the test. Okay, so the front page is required. Okay, and then the top half of the back side. Okay, so this section from carrying capacity to the essay. All right, um, the stuff down here is not required, but it, I mean, you can take a look at it and make sure you're prepared for what you're going to see because this stuff will be on the test. I'm just not going to give you the questions for them. Okay, but you will see these, but you do not, you do not need to complete that part at the bottom, just this top half. Okay, your essay, I wouldn't, I mean, it's really hard to call it an essay, but it's three questions and make sure you answer all three parts. OK, uh, that's a that's a big thing. Um, if I'm going to ask for multiple things, make sure you answer all parts of the questions OK, um, to ensure you get all 10 points on that. OK, um, some questions that students had from yesterday. OK, the colonization piece, just because it has bullet points, that does not mean that it's already answered. OK, you need to find the important information for those four bullet points. I don't need everything. What's the most important stuff that goes along with those four bullet points? Okay, like areas colonized versus not colonized. Well, we know that everything was colonized besides two areas. What were those two areas that were not colonized? Okay, that's what I would write down next to here. Okay. Um, countries who colonized, you don't need to list every country. Where were those countries from that colonized Africa? You know, don't overcomplicate it. Okay, um, South African apartheid versus Mandela. Okay, what is the apartheid? And then who is Mandela? And the regions, major physical features, important architecture. Okay, give me the important parts here. Go to your region slides and then um, what you remember or sticks out, that's what I would include down here. Okay, religions of Africa. That one is... Uh, uh, we didn't necessarily say, okay, these are the religions, but what were the two major ones? And then where can you find them in Africa? That's what I'm looking for here. The two major ones. And then where can you find them in Africa in terms of like the area? North, east, south, west. Okay. Where is the majority's at? Okay. Now, if you finish in class, you are more than welcome to turn it in. Okay, that would be great if you could get it all done in class. Okay, this is a five point assignment that'll go into your performance category. So maybe you struggled on a map test. Hey, this will help you. Okay, but this is required. You got to get this done. Okay, if you don't get it done in class, it is due at the start of class on Tuesday, which is the day of your test. So please make sure we are coming prepared to fill out your study guide. The links are all right here. Okay, I would start with Quizlet and then you can work your way through these. Okay, but Quizlet's going to knock out of probably half of your study guide. Okay, if you have questions, you can email me and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, um, but other than that, make sure you get it done. If you have it done in class, turn it in. If not, do on Tuesday. And at that point, if you are finished in class, the substitute teacher should have passed out the missing assignments uh, sheets for you. If you got a sheet, that means you have missing assignments. Okay, make sure you are working to try to get those uh, completed and submitted. If you don't get a sheet, great. That means, hey, you have no missing assignments. Well done. All right. So make sure uh, we are behaving for the substitute, please. And thank you. Uh, 
And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and just shoot me an email. All right. Okay. Yeah. After this, okay. Make sure you have a great weekend and make sure you're preparing for your test.